The best way to learn about a career in science is to talk to the people who are actually doing it. I wanted to know what it's like to be a sea otter biologist, and I knew just who to talk to. My name is Colleen Young, and I'm a sea otter biologist slash environmental scientist at the California Department of Fish and Game in Santa Cruz. Well, I'm a biologist by training, um, but I'm also a diver. I'm actually one of the divers that catches the otters, and then on my off days from diving, I'll be driving one of the boats. Colleen's work with sea otters extends from adventures out in the field to working in the lab, where she's part of the team trying to dissect what's killing sea otters in the wild. The main components of my job include sea otter carcass recovery. So we want to really learn about what's affecting sea otters and if they do die, we want to know why they're dying. And so we, I collect every, or help collect every carcass that washes up in California. And then we perform what's called a necropsy, which is a, a, like an autopsy on an animal. And we try to figure out why it died so that if it's something that was caused by a human, we can try to help mitigate it, which help you know, make that not happen anymore. Um, and then another part of my job is helping with the aerial surveys and the ground counts that we do twice a year, which is a um, way for us to monitor the growth of, or decline of the population. And then we also do these live otter captures um, routinely throughout the year. And with the live otter captures, could you tell me about your role with that? Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much um, as a diver, we're going up, coming up underneath the otters. Uh, to capture them, and we have a specially designed traps, very specially designed equipment, so we don't have any bubbles, so we're not scaring them before we get there. And the trap is designed so that the otter can't get injured, it can't hurt, their, break their teeth on the trap, and they're not going to get entangled. Um, and we have a pretty delicate process where we transfer them into a um, box where they can get transported over to the vet to get their examination. So, what are some of the special skills you use in your job every day? Well, certainly my dive training was paramount, and also uh, and the more day-to-day -day stuff, just asking questions, making observations. Making observations is a big part of being a scientist, because if you're not being observant, you're not going to notice things that aren't normal, or you're not going to notice trends for things that are normal. What about your background and your education? How did that? Um, well, I um, got my undergrad degree from UC Davis in uh, animal biology. So I learned, you know, I got a really fundamental education just about um, biology at the very basic level. And then I started volunteering a lot, doing all sorts of different things to find out what I was interested in and also gain experience. Uh, then I went to graduate school, and that's kind of where I found my niche and really learned how to do science. What's your favorite thing about sea otters? I think that everyone thinks that they're so cute and so nice, but they are really deviant. They always, almost always find a way to elude us. So I like the fact that they're sneaky and they're a little more mean than everyone thinks. So they kind of have a hidden personality. I like yeah. that. What would you say to someone who says, gosh, you have a really cool job. I want to <laughs> do that. What would, you know, what should they do? I think the first thing is to figure out if that job is for them, because it may look very glamorous or look really interesting, but then in reality, it might not really align with someone's interests. So the best way to do that is to get experience. So I feel like internships and doing volunteer work is the best way to get exposure to a field or a job that you might be interested in. What's your favorite thing about your job? It's different every day but my favorite days are when I'm underwater. You know, some people think that the only way to be a scientist is to wear a white coat and work in a stuffy lab all day. But science is an adventure, and for the people who study sea otters, they get to wear scuba gear, and this is their lab. Pretty fun day at the office.